Hello, everyone. Hello. 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 Okay, okay, okay. I'm getting crazy. Um, I'm going, before I start this video, I just want to do a quick shout out to my friend that is also on YouTube, and she did a shout out for me after I did a shout out for her. So, I guess we have a shout out conversation going on here. So, my friend who I'm talking about is has a ch new channel called Maya and Jules, or Jules and Maya. Da-da! <laughs> and so, she, her, today she's going to be the channel shout out again because I already did her one thing by choice, and another one, she gave me the link and asked me to do it, and I told you guys... You get one chance to have it done by choice, by me. That's only if I know your channel. And two, the easier way to do it is actually tell me your channel. So today we are going to be doing a meeting all my pets video. Um, cause it's hard to keep my pets straight. So barbecue is actually right here. We have to be very quiet or else I'll get scared. Yes, guys, this is my frog barbecue. So for all of you that didn't believe, like maybe didn't believe I had a frog, here's your proof. Look at him. OMG, he's so cute. And he's calm, too. And yes, guys, I mean, he, I know he looks like a rock, but he's actually not, because we saw him move it, so... straight away from the pack <laughs> and guys I'm warning you it might be hard for you to meet all of my pets like see them see them because not all of them are near like to be near me all the time see there he is that's a little leg hello barbecue oh I'm sorry buddy did I scare you that whoa spider that's okay little boy so that's barbecue. That's my first pet. I'm gonna leave him alone now because he's like, unless you're giving me dinner, okay? <laughs> it's funny. But remember, most of my pets are feral, so, like, meaning they're tame, but they're not completely domesticated and, like, perfect with humans yet. So just, I just have to be patient with them. And if they don't want to come too close to me, that's fine. Dang it. I was gonna show you guys this dog here. Talk about her a lot. Sheba. She isn't exactly a mine. She's my neighbor's. But I help them with her by playing with her and keeping her busy. At times when it's kind of inconvenient and annoying. Let's see if any of my birds are here. Guys, we got three new baby birds. Archer, X, and Spirit. X and Spirit. Um... Shout out to Stephanie Murado because I got the names partly from her, but also I was thinking of Medieval War at the time. Okay. That, a bird just flew. Archer! Archer! Oh gosh, where is he? Look, yeah, right there. Right there. Archer! Okay, I just snapped a few shots because... It's even hard for me to get pictures of my birds when I'm alone. What the heck is that leaf? Wait, am I still zoomed? Oops. And guys, I'm doing another shout out to my friend Brady who... My friend who... <sighs> we're still in that thing and apparently she refused to watch the video. That did a shout out to her before, so let's hope she finds this one. Um, whoa, fly, shoo! Oh no, I need to feed the birds. Seriously. Uh, I'm not doing that in this video, guys, I'm sorry. But I'm gonna post a video soon, feeding all my outdoor pets, and then another one will be soon, feeding all my indoor pets, so... <laughs> um... Yeah, let's see. Archer 
and the babies in yellow used to, usually like to hang out over here. So maybe Well guys, look, look, looks like Archer's the only one we're seeing right now, but you guys have seen yellow before on one of my other videos. I think it was a morning in my life video. Yeah. Um, actually guys, later today or tomorrow, what the, we might be, I might be posting a feeding on my outdoor prints video. Oh guys, guess what? We, f we saw a little mouse here when we took off the top to it. It was so cute. My mom was kind of freaked out about it. But I'm like, oh, come on, mom. It's so cute. I just made sure not to get too close because, like I said, pets who live with me, it isn't my pet anymore. It moved um, because we had to tell it to scram, move along. But we were nice to it. We just, we just waited for it to leave. You know, we didn't scare it or anything. Um... So yeah, and I actually have another new pet that I want to show you guys. Wait, another? A new pet. And it's really cute. His name's Eli. And then we think he has three babies. Whitney, Smunger, and Robert. Um, because they have to do with cotton. To us, they have to do with cotton. And Eli, Whitney, and Robert's S. Robert S. Munger invented the cotton gin wait i always say eli's last name wrong whitney eli whitney right whitley whitney yeah whitney okay whitney <laughs> so yeah these little guys feral animals that live at my place they get any shelter they can um so one actually at one point the turkey the chipmunk no the turkeys the chipmunks the squirrels and these guys were all at the same time but they didn't bother each other or nothing. It was good. So under here dwells my newest pet. We're, I'm going to talk more about him. Well, them in the feeding on my pets video. But they are four little rabbits. And they're so cute. And I, and I said they had to do with cotton because... Cottontails, anyone? <laughs> So, I don't think the turkeys are out. Me and my neighbors, actually, they're mostly mine. Um, because we feed them, kind of, on purpose more than my neighbors do. But, of course, we let them wander wherever, as long as they're not causing any trouble, and my neighbors love them. So, the turkeys, the one that's a girl that's always alone is named Pumpkin, because my neighbors named them. Um... They're usually right there eating from the compost. Hey, was that a little bird? Huh. Um, and then this there's this male and female couple. Um, oh my gosh, the male spread his fit feathers to impress the female. So cool. So the male is Big Daddy Mac, and the female is Lady. They normally come out at night so they can snack on leftovers and in fact my mom said oh guys look bird oh dang wait 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 it isn't too late it isn't too late come on bird yeah we have some new hawks but we we kind of we want that we had we are gonna keep let the hawks stay but we're thinking of um for seriously we're thinking of making them leave because we have rabbits now and we do have squirrels and chipmunks and they are rodents that hawks like to snack on, sadly. So yeah, this is this is the chickens and I mean the turkeys feeding area. This is the squirrels feeding area. It's empty right now. No, that's the birds. It's supposed to be the birds. This is the squirrel's feeding area, and we're going to get a bowl for the rabbits, which, just like the frog's pool, it's going to be something we fished out of the recycle, because, really, the recycle, we clean them all, like, all the containers before throwing them away, so why waste money, and why should we have to go out to get something when we just have 
a fine plastic container that we could bury in the dirt to fill with food. But yeah, more about that on our feet in video. <laughs> okay, this, these guys, they're sometimes active right now. It's hard to tell when they're active. But let me zoom in. The bees. They dwell here. Hey, anyone home? I used to have a hummingbird, but it left. That's another sad part about feral animals. They leave sometimes. Huh, they must be off searching for new flowers. They sometimes do that. That's why we saw that loner. Well, they'll probably come back in time for dinner, which actually, no, they won't because I don't really feed them too much. Sometimes when they're not there, when they're not active, I, well, I throw some water at their plants, but I really don't want to bother them because they hate getting wet. Look, guys, new flower bushes starting to grow. We really want them to move back here so that they don't terrorize the guests. I mean, nobody's going to come to our house if they're like, Oh my god, they have a thing of killer bees. Of course, they're not killer, but they will... They do have a killer sting. And, well, who wants to get stung? Like, they won't kill you, but... You know. I have, um... A dance class later today. And I don't know why I'm telling you guys this. But, yeah, I, I have a dance class later today. And I'm actually not... I mean, I am looking forward to it, but I just wish I had my outdoor pets came inside every once in a while because everyone's pets are there, and I'm like the one loner without any pets. And then if I try to talk about my pets, sometimes I feel like people aren't listening slash don't believe me. Because, I mean, would you believe me unless I sh showed them to you? When I first said, hey guys, it's Hobby Master. I have bumblebees, frog, a frog, bunnies, birds, chip, a chipmunk, a squirrel, and turkeys, and I already said bees, and they all live outside. <laughs> yeah, no, no one's going to believe me. No one. So, yeah. Well, guys, this was more of a meeting on my outdoor pets video. I don't have many indoor pets yet so i'm trying to wait until the coronavirus blows over and so i can get more because we're thinking of getting a dog and we're definitely getting new fish once we once we can go back to the pet store and we need to buy more bird food at the pet store good <laughs> and i'm thinking of investing in some frog food because barbecue is very bored of the limited greens i ha have to get them because the frog garden hasn't started growing yet and it might be a little late this year and in case you guys haven't realized like you can't really be late when it comes to keeping your pets alive by feeding them. So yeah. You know? So guys, Barbecue says goodbye and I think he also says stop bothering me. Aw. He's moving. <laughs> okay. Say bye to Barbecue guys. We will see you later. Bye.